Welcome, it's your Pastor Daryl here from Washington Church of the Nazarene with your Midweek Minute. I'm not as upbeat as I normally am during these things, and there's a reason for it. You see, I contemplated saying something over last week's events. Do I stay quiet? Do I rock the boat? But I've been doing a lot of praying here recently over our society. And it doesn't matter what your occupation is. Doesn't matter where you come from, what your heritage is, or what color of the skin is. If you don't hear anything in these next couple of minutes, I want you to hear this. You matter. You matter to the God that I serve. You matter to the God that sent his son to die on a cross for your sins. You matter. See, I say that because I'm not sure if you have been told. And you need to be told. You matter. You matter to me, the small town pastor, but that doesn't mean anything in the whole gist of everything. You matter to the God of the universe. You were one of those people that Jesus had on his mind as he stretched his arms out on that cross. And he gave his life for you and for me. You matter. You were the person that he had in mind when John 3.16 was written. For God so loved the world that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Whoever, there's no restrictions there. You were the person that was in mind when Romans 5.8 was written. For God shows his love for us that in, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. See, I, I'm included in that. You're included in that. We have come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. God is love. Whoever abides in love and abides in God, God abides in him. It's out of 1 John 4.16. There's no restrictions there. doesn't mean that God abides in the person who has a certain job. God abides in the person that has a, big, a certain type of house or certain size of house or certain size of bank account or certain racial background. God died for all of us. And I don't know if you've been told this, but you're loved and you matter. See, my heart breaks and I weep for how we have devalued life in this society. Yes, I weep for the aborted. I weep for those that go unadopted. I weep for those whose life was taken way too early, either just or unjust. I even weep for those that end their life behind bars, imprisoned, guilty or unguilty. Life matters to the God that I serve. And we have devalued life in the society. We have devalued it so much that when people leave their house, they, they, they have a fear of running across people in certain occupations. We've devalued life so much that certain occupations have a fear of getting dressed and going to work. I want you to know today, not just from me, a small town pastor, a nobody in the, in the gist of the whole world, but the God of creation who is everything. He values you. It doesn't matter where you've been from, where you've come from, what you've done. Like that father to the prodigal son, he runs to meet his son. And he's standing at the door looking out for you, waiting for your return. You matter to him. Take a moment, we're going to pray. I pray over this society and the world that we live in every day. And, it, and it, it's striking me today. So I apologize if it's not the upbeat message that you've come to understand or, or enjoy over the last 32, 31 weeks, however long it's been. But I think it needed to be said, you matter. Father, I thank you so much for this time. I'm asking that you don't whisper in their ears. You shout with uncertainty to that person today that's listening that doesn't believe that their life has any value who don't believe that they matter anymore. Lord, I ask that you shout that you love them. 
Call them loud and clear. Let them know their worth. Let them know that they matter and that you love them. I love them enough specifically to send your son to die on a cross. We lean on the promise that all who are thirsty, Lord, we're thirsty for your love, the love that gives us value. I lift that person up to you today that's listening to this. Maybe they know me, maybe they don't. Make them feel valued today. Place the value into their life. Reveal that value that's always been there and remind them that they matter. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And I'm going to encourage you today. Share this with, on your timeline. Share it around the world if you want. Because there's someone out there that needs to know that they matter. There's someone out there that needs to know that they're loved. Someone out there needs to hear this. I love you all. I'm praying for you. Until next time. Tell somebody that they matter today. Tell them that their life has value. Have a great week.